Hi Virgo, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Today's video is gonna be your June general reading, again for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Everyone, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave, okay? Um, also, as per usual, we'll be doing um, an extended version of this reading where we take a look at the other person that you're dealing with, your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, soulmate, whoever that is, we'll take a look in the extended at their reading, how they feel about you, y'all's connection, all that good stuff. The link for that is in the description box below. Virgo, if you're looking for a personal reading, I still have a couple spots left for July. If you wanna get on the list, just shoot me an email. My business email is in the description box below along with my Instagram. I would love to see you and um, connect there as well. Real quick, I'm super sorry I have a cough drop in. I've been really, really sick. That's kind of also why these videos are getting out getting out a little bit later than I wanted to. So I'm still um, on the upswing of um, doing some healing from when I was kind of ill for like a week. So I feel great, energy's good. It's just my voice is still kind of ah. So bear with me and my apologies. All right, Virgo, so I also got an Oracle card for everybody this month and yours is beautiful. Open your heart. Open your heart, Virgo. Take a look at that. I don't know if you can see, but if you really get into this, and this is card number 10, which is a completion, okay? So this is absolutely beautiful. She's like laying here and connecting with nature. Just, you could have like a pet you're connected to or um, a spirit animal. And just by you opening up and letting go, there is, there's like a, a face of a man here kind of, whispering or giving her a kiss on the neck or something like that um and his angel wings are here like holding on to her so for a lot of you if you're if you're looking to um if you feel like you're ready you know really take some time to expand yourself this month open up open your heart to receive love because i feel like there's some beautiful beautiful things in regards to love on their way for you okay i'm um, also when i was like meditating and tapping into this card before I turned on uh, the video, there's a lot of feathers going on, a lot of white, gray, and white and gray feathers. So for a lot of you, and it's a lot of like angelic energy here as well. I feel like for a lot of you, Virgo, you could be seeing a lot of feathers that could have some significance for you this month in June. It could be signs towards, you know, like when we ask signs from the universe, speaking of signs, I'll have the intuition card at the bottom of the deck so following your intuition and a part of that is asking for signs like how do i know i'm on the right path please show me that i'm you know that you're with me or whatever it is that you're asking for uh, signs from our angels our guides from the universe can come in so many different forms numbers i just i don't know 303 is coming up for some of you 10 9 101 911 which is actually a good thing <laughs> um manifesting an ending which is good so anyways, I feel like there's a lot of like nines, ones coming in for you. Also could be feathers, lots of different things to, for the universe, for your guides and angels to show you that they're, they're with you or show you an answer that you're looking for, okay? You just have to be open to it, okay? You just have to open up. All right, let's get into the tarot portion of this reading. So I hope y'all like that. This is your portion again here, and then we'll do the um, the other person will be in the extended. Three more shuffles. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2019. I heard slow down, breathe. that was for me but it was also for for some of you as well maybe cherishing the moment taking in taking in every moment living life to its fullest right all right we have the three of wands in reverse as a part of your theme virgo when i get the three of wands okay this is about waiting for your ships to come in you've maybe um started something new in your life and you've done plenty of work to get like a project going okay in your life and you see your ships and you're like i see them and i'm just here waiting waiting for them to come in 
But when I get the Three of Wands in reverse, I actually feel like the ships are actually, they're in. <laughs> so you should be seeing some, some results right now. Whoa, first card out, Queen of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful. So some of y'all with your current energy are taking on a Queen of Wands type of energy, or some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry. Anyways, regardless, this is very intuitive. This is a very intuitive queen right here. Remember, we also had the intuition card for you, Virgo. So what I'm feeling is you do have something on your mind. There's an action that you're like ready to take. I feel like it's you kind of are picking up that like cat vibe where you're like ready to like attack something, but it's something good. You're like, I'm ready. I've been waiting. I've been patient. I'm opening up, I'm expanding, I breathe, and I go, you know? So it's kind of like you're about to go get something that you really, 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 really want. Nice. All right, Spirit, what other messages do we have for Virgo? Beautiful. We have the world card. Okay, so we're taking some major actions towards ending something. Bottom of the deck here. We have the devil card. Some of you could be releasing a Capricorn, okay? Or just releasing something or someone who is toxic, who is negative for you, that you've realized through contemplation, through listening to your intuition that I don't feel good around that person or I don't feel good in that type of situation. So we're ending something and, and with that closing, of the, closing the door, okay, as we close the door to something, we, we have a completion and therefore we open up, okay? We open up a whole new opportunity, a whole new world, okay? Open your heart. I feel like something great is going to happen. Beautiful energies. Lots of blue in the background with the Queen of Wands and the World card as well. When I think of the color blue, I think of, of protection. I think of guidance, okay? I think of clarity as well, like when the sky is clear, if it's been cloudy, you know, so spiritually or mentally, if you've been a little bit cloudy or even emotionally in any type of energy. It's like we've been a little bit cloudy, a little bit confused, not sure which way to go, but I feel like there's clarity coming in for sure. Look, there it is. Devil in reverse. You definitely are. That's that's beautiful. It is like what you're releasing. And I love the way these cards are falling out. Let me show you. Right? So she's focused on the queen, right? Which is you. It's like, all right, it's like they're having conversation. One, two, ready, go. Okay? And what the door we're closing is you're closing a door of toxicity. It could be someone around you or something internal um, that was kind of keeping you down. Some control issues, okay? Um, it could be, you know, addictions for some of you or for a partner or someone in your energy. It can go lots of different ways, but you've seen it, you recognize it, and you're letting it go. Very, very good, Virgo. Oh. All right, we got two more cards. Lots of major arcanas uh, coming out now. So we have the Hangman and we have Scorpio. Lots of water energy. This is the card of Scorpio with the Death card. Actually, Scorpio, this is the death card, card of Scorpio. Okay, and we also have the hangman, which is water energy. So death is there. Ooh, bottom of the deck for these two, we have the four of wands. Absolutely beautiful. So I feel like we're in a huge transformation. Okay, and I love the continuation here. It's like whatever you're releasing and letting go, you're never going to go back to that, back to that toxic person, back to that toxic habit or bad habit that you had or whatever was just kind of keeping you down, right? Like that is done. It's dead. It's gone. You've released it. You've walked away. You've removed yourself from it. You're healing and you're ready for something new. And I love that the death card showed up because this is like, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep going. I'm not looking, this person's not looking back. Okay, this energy is not looking back. This is not about going back to the past. This is only about being, uh, moving forward, okay? And as we move forward, as we move forward, Virgo, you are changing your perspective. Hangman energy. There's something that you are literally willing to flip yourself, put yourself in someone else's shoes, or have some kind of bright idea. Take a moment to soak in what just happened and seek spiritual enlightenment, right? But for what's going on right now in your 3D world, 
in your everyday life, right? Some of you are getting enlightened about a soulmate, possible twin flame coming in for some of you. Wow, Virgo, beautiful. We have the judgment card. This is major, major, major upgrades. And we have the 10 of cups there too. Gorgeous energy. You are leveling up. When we get the judgment card, this is spirit, your guides, the divine spirit, God, whatever, you know, whatever you resonate with, literally having your back and supporting you. Releasing anything that's dark and negative, anything that's like these dark thoughts, like all this black down here, negative thinking, toxic people, toxic energy, letting it go. You know, it's almost like they blow their horn on it and they're like, let it go. And then we rise above and we go literally to the next level. What's your next level, Virgo? Ten of Cups. This is where you're going. I love this. This is a gorgeous reading. You are truly going towards a very, very emotionally happy, content, fulfilled time in your life. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Four of Wands came out. Beautiful Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is your aha moment. This is, some of you are getting major downloads right now throughout <clears throat> excuse me throughout the month of june and your intuition it's like your intuition which is that gut feeling and your mental energy are working together so well in a beautiful balanced energy to unite you with someone very very special for some of you sure you could be attending a wedding you could be t um, attending some kind of celebration a baby shower a um you know, a, an engagement party, something like that, a bachelorette or bachelor party, something like that too. But overall, this is about union, okay? This is about a celebration of a union. And this is about you. This is almost like your reward for like letting go finally of something that wasn't good for you. And in turn, you level up and this is what you get. Oh, Virgo. Talk about opening up your heart. Well, as soon as y'all make that decision, you're coming into a beautiful alignment with somebody, okay? And if you're already with someone romantic, romantically, this could be, you know, a beautiful union. Y'all could be like renewing your vows here for some of you, okay? And you're, and you're doing the planning. You're kind of getting the ball rolling on, you know, redefining your love for each other, okay? Or for some of you, um, it could also be, you know, you being a part of just some something very very special this month um if you're already in a commitment um you could be meeting someone who is a friend for the rest of your life and y'all feel like y'all are just soulmates you know beautiful beautiful virgo all right let's get one more out <clears throat> so sorry again about my voice <laughs> so sorry all right spirit what other messages do we have for virgo Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June. Okay. Beautiful. We've got two sixes here. Bottom of the deck we have, or I'm sorry, bottom of the deck we have the Six of Wands, okay, which is victory. You will be recognized this month. And then we have the Six of Cups as your last card out. Soulmate right after the four of four of wands mm -hmm. some of you are meeting someone so special that's going to be a long-term commitment someone that wants to be around for the long haul if this is someone new that you're meeting in your life okay they could be y'all could have had a past life together okay this is beautiful beautiful energy mm, i love it i love it and bottom of the deck we have the six of wands okay and this is a part of, again, a part of your theme for the entire ring. Lots of fire going on here, okay? So some of you definitely are dealing with a fire sign or have a, have a positive um, influence from a fire sign or someone who's just very fiery and takes a lot of action. Like they're kind of inspiring, inspiring you this month. But the Six of Wands is about you being recognized, okay? 
And I love these two cards together. So some of you could also literally be getting married, be getting engaged. You could be finding out some kind of beautiful news to celebrate something in love, a union, okay? Spirit supports it. You're going through a major transition right now, Virgo. So <laughs> applause to you, applause to you. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the extended where we look at the other person that you're dealing with. The link for that is in the description box below. Virgo, if this is where we part, I love you so much. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Sending you all my love and I'll see y'all soon.